The Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Blockchain Super Conference is coming to Dallas, Texas, February 16, 17, and 18 in 2018. If you know of a better way to get the latest insider knowledge about crypto, to hear directly from the top minds in this field, to interact personally with 800 fellow crypto lovers, hodlers, investors, miners, traders, developers, and founders, then I'd like to hear about it. If you don't, then you don't want to miss out. Register today for the Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Blockchain Super Conference. Go to BitcoinSuperConference.com and register today as a super early bird to get the lowest rates on tickets and hotel rooms. That's BitcoinSuperConference.com. Welcome to Almost Here, Round the Corner of Future Technology podcast with Richard Jacobs. Future technologies poised to transform our lives for better or worse are the focus of this podcast. Almost Here means these technologies are now here and starting to be used or just around the corner from Bitcoin to artificial intelligence, 3D printing, blockchain, virtual reality, and more. Hello, this is Richard Jacobs with Future Tech Podcast. My guest today is Jonathan Chester founder and president of bitwage.com, B-I-T-W-A-G-E. Jonathan, how are you? Doing well. I'm doing well. I, uh, I'm spending a little bit of time in San Francisco and taking a break from my uh, recent adventure in Paris right now, so uh, uh, I'm feeling good to be home for a bit. Excellent. All right, so tell me about Bitwage. What is it? Uh, what's the intent of the company? What does it do? Yeah, sure. So, um, I think the, the 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 best way to think about Bitcoin uh, Bitwage is to to, to start with uh, the technology that that we're built on top of, which is which is Bitcoin, and uh, and basically what's uh, what's happening with with Bitcoin over the past year, right? You've seen this monstrous growth uh, from being maybe a, uh, a little bit under a ten billion dollar market cap to over an eighty billion to to to, to seventy. 70 up to 80 billion dollar market cap and um mm. and this this monstrous this monstrous rise that that occurred um you you can really see it happening as a as a result of two things uh speculation and financial efficiency and what bitwage does is uh, uh is we take these these use cases of bitcoin and then we apply them into the context of payroll and invoicing solutions. So what do we do? Um, we sure. are we are the most popular payroll and invoicing platform built on top of, of Bitcoin. We have two main solutions. One, we call it invoicing, um, but what it really is is a, a Bitcoin direct deposit account. Um, and so the idea is you can provide instead of a regular checking account to your employer, a Bitcoin direct deposit. And the employer will pay into that account. The funds will be converted into Bitcoin and then sent wherever you want. So if you're like a worker, an employee domestic to the US or the EU or the UK, we have local accounts in the US, EU and UK. Um, the funds that hit those accounts uh, and are converted to Bitcoin and sent to users. This is mainly mainly for a speculation use case. Maybe you know you you think that that Bitcoin is the best store of value since gold, and this eighty trillion eighty billion dollar market cap will eventually rival the the seven point five trillion dollar market cap of gold. So maybe you get a percentage of your wage in Bitcoin, and 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 then we're providing the easiest way to do that. But uh, well, one, big, one quick question: What what is a Bitcoin account? The only thing I know of that's a Bitcoin account is called a wallet. What does yours look like? Yeah, so th again, it's not a Bitcoin account; it's a Bitcoin direct deposit. And uh, you wrote, we're we're, compa we're combining two things. So we are not a wallet. We don't hold Bitcoin. We actually don't even have our own stash of Bitcoin. Um, and it, what what we do is we pro you provide you with an account and routing number in the US, an IBAN number uh, in, uh, in the EU, and a, a, a SOC number, in, uh, or a SIC number in uh, uh, the UK. And the idea is you provide this to your employer, and the employer says, okay, I'll split you know, 80% into your checking, into this checking account, and 20% into the second checking account. And the second checking account happens to be linked to Bitwage, 
in which case those funds are converted into Bitcoin and then deposited into whatever wallet you choose. Um, and okay, so now I understand. All right, so it's going, all the money's going into traditional banking checking accounts. It's getting split according to the desires of the employee. And then you guys are taking the, you know, the rainy day savings Bitcoin part, converting it to Bitcoin and putting it in their wallet. Yeah. And, 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 and so uh, the thing is, uh, a lot of international workers will use this uh, for two reasons. So the international workers will actually get their entire wages. So a domestic worker, you know, they'll, they'll might do this because they, they sort of see this as like an alternative to a 401k. And they want they want to add Bitcoin to their portfolio in the easiest way possible, but the the international workers they'll actually have their entire payment reliant on this. Uh, they'll use Bitcoin as a uh, way to receive their money faster and cheaper than international wires, and they will either choose to keep the funds in Bitcoin because the currency is actually a better store of value than their own local currency, or um, we will convert the funds from Bitcoin into local currency and deposit it into bank accounts. And this is done in Brazil, India, Philippines, Nigeria, Argentina, Colombia, Mexico, you know, US, EU, UK. Um, I think it's a pretty cool idea. I think it's, it's, I can see it's right different use cases for different people. I like it because, um, you know, when I tend to get money, it just seems to go away no matter how much I get. So, it's, you know, for me, the only way to save money is to get it away from me into a yep. segregated account. And I'm guessing a lot of people are like that. So that's really cool. And, and it's really cool. I think, uh, you know, when, when people actually get Bitcoin, this is this is a, one of the first times that people people actually start saving. Um, because it's really interesting when you get Bitcoin, at least right now, it's like you don't want to you don't want to spend it because you know you're very long on the technology you believe that it's it's going to go up significantly so you 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 end up saving your bitcoin uh for a later point in time uh it's a little bit different when you're in a bear market um there was a bear market for a couple of years but now that we're in a bit of a bull market uh in terms of the price of price of bitcoin you see a lot of people holding on uh uh, you know, because people believe the price is going to go, let's say, to ten thousand dollars in the next year or two, right? And so people are are um, are excited about that. Um, uh, uh, so, it, it how many being, um, how many how many users, how many companies, how many countries? You know, is this in use, and how big is your reach so far? Yeah, so we've done about twenty eight million dollars in transactions. We've got about sixteen. Oh, no, no, we've got about uh, uh, eighteen thousand users, um, a little less than that. And uh, and basically, we uh, uh, we service people all over the world. Um, uh, we have users in over ninety different countries, um, and they get paid from all sorts of different companies uh, and organizations. You know, sometimes the companies will sign up. And these will actually be companies in the the cryptocurrency space, or maybe they'll be like innovative, smaller companies um, that are paying people in the Philippines or paying freelancers around the world. Um, Or it'll be the workers that sign up and they'll get paid from the likes of Facebook and Google, Philips and GE. Uh, They'll get paid from like Upwork and Toptal, freelance marketplaces. Uh, They'll get paid from the World Health Organization. Uh, and even like government organizations like the U.S. Navy and the United Nations, right? Um, Have you so, had any any companies that uh, you know say we don't want our employees to be involved in this, or is everyone pretty welcoming? Well, here's the thing: is that the company doesn't really know necessarily um, because you, as a worker, you're just going and you're saying. I mean, obviously, the company can sign up, and if the company's signing up, they can say, actually, no, we don't want to sign up, and and and. And take the responsibility of of understanding how this 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 Bitcoin thing works. But uh, but the workers, if they want to do it, they're just going to the company and they're saying, pay into this U.S. bank account or EU bank account or UK bank account. And the company doesn't, you know, they don't they don't they don't really think anything of it. It's just another bank account for them to pay into. Okay, makes sense. 
So how long have you been, have you been at this? You know, you said you have about 18,000 users. How long have you been running? Yeah, so we've been around uh, since 2014. Uh, we released our first product back then, and it was in July of 2014 that we released our first product, which was really the a system for companies to sign up and pay their employees in Bitcoin. And we, we, we basically developed this direct deposit account in November of 2014. So we've been around, I mean, for a while, I've been in the space myself since 2013. At the time, it felt like we were late to the game, but now it sort of feels like we're, we're dinosaurs uh, in the ecosystem. But, you know, I've, I, I've been around long enough that I, I actually uh, contribute on Forbes uh, for all things Bitcoin and blockchain related for the entrepreneurship section. And I've been doing that since 2015. Very cool. So I always like to know, again, you know, I've said this on other podcasts, whenever someone has a lot of data that other people don't see, I always ask them, what do they see? So what kind of behavior do you see amongst your, um, you know, your recipients? Do a lot of them want to use it as savings? Do, uh, you know, what, what, how do these 18,000 people use your system? What are some quirks or interesting things, data points you've seen from it? So, so I think that the most interesting data point that people don't know about uh, has to do with what's happening around the world right now. Uh, so if you look at if you look at uh, how people are are using the technology on different exchanges, right? So we work with lots of exchanges in different parts of the world and uh, all the different countries that we pay out in, and you see that people are are using Bitcoin as a store of value. And it's really fascinating to see. Uh, a great example of this is what happened in India uh, last November. Um, mm. The Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi announced the demonetization of uh, uh, the 800,000 rupee bills, which basically it, they were worth about seven and $14 at the time. Uh, uh, respectively, but they also amounted to 86% of the cash in circulation in that country. And, yeah. and so what happened was, you know, there was a massive cash shortage. People thought the economy would slow down and, and people were trying to get out of the Indian rupee. And, and the, the thing is that people would rather have U.S. dollars. Maybe they'd want euros, uh, but, they, but they have a hard time getting these currencies. So instead, people will will get gold and will get silver. And and now what we see is in these similar circumstances, people are buying Bitcoin. Uh, And uh, uh, the prices of Bitcoin rose in India for about three months, uh, about 40 percent more than the rest of the world. Um, So what that meant for our users is that when they were receiving wages from the U.S. to India, they would get 40 percent more of their wage than they would through any other service, like literally 40 percent, just feels like 40 percent of the wow. money got increased, printed out of thin air. Um, but this Amazing. is a direct result of, of Bitcoin's uh, uh, usage and value as a store of value, a digital store of value, a digital digital version of gold. Uh, and and it does, it's not just happening in in uh in India I mean you, happening in Venezuela and Zimbabwe I mean these are you know extreme circumstances but if you look at Zimbabwe right now um they have this this horrible monetary situation where they 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 drop the Zimbabwe do- uh, dollar they now use the US dollar but they don't have any money to buy actual US dollars cash and so there's a major cash shortage you can't get cash in Zimbabwe and uh and so, you know, you can have money on your account, but it turns out the government is just adding zeros to those accounts. So uh, there, there's a huge limits on your ability to, to wire that money out. Um, mm. And you can't even get Visa or MasterCards uh, in, in these countries. They won't accept the money, uh, you, the, this currency through the network unless you get especially, speci- specifically vetted for it. Um, and so you can't really get money out of the country. Um, uh, you, you 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 you're sort of stuck with this, and 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 so when you see the prices of Bitcoin there versus in the U.S. in the U.S. price of Bitcoin is about four thousand dollars. The price of Bitcoin there when I when I was looking at it like three or four weeks ago was uh, six thousand five hundred dollars, and they're both dollars. Wow. It's both dollars. It's like the same dollar amount, but because of uh, the monetary situation in uh, in Zimbabwe, 
um, the, 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 you, you end up seeing this difference. And, um, and so uh, it's just a testament to how Bitcoin is now being used as a digital store of value around the world in places that have bad economic and political situations. And we are able to essentially uh, 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 let our u- users who do, who do cross-border uh, elements, uh, cross-border payments through us, uh, get their re- cross-border wages through us, rather, um, mm-hmm. to, 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 get adva- to get advantage of this, you know, either because um, they're getting a higher percentage uh, of their money in the wage or you know, uh, uh, the, the, the customer doesn't feel a fee at all. They get essentially exactly the, the mid market rate and, uh, um, and, uh, we can make money, um, by, by, you know, optimizing our, our treasury situation. Well, essentially Bitcoin is freedom for many people now and it's going to continue to grow and, uh, help them escape, you know, different regimes that, have capital controls and want to take all their money from them. Yep, exactly. I mean, I think that, I think think that, uh, I think that in a lot of places, you know, people blame the, their governments for, uh, high inflation, perhaps because they're printing money to purchase, uh, uh, goods and services that they themselves want or need, but they don't, they don't take into consideration that they're essentially taxing, uh, uh, the, the people by making the value of their wealth uh, go down dramatically. Uh, and I think that the people who are work, living and in, in working in these kinds of economies uh, uh, are, w- would rather trust a computer that uh, is completely neutral uh, than uh, have a, a government that looks like it's not working in their own interests. Yeah, no, it's understandable. What about, um, this is not really for crypto enthusiasts, so do you ever deal with other types of tokens, you know, Litecoin or Ethereum or Bitcoin's enough, it's plenty, and that's all you deal with? Well, well, so so there's there's two kinds of users on our platform, right? There's the speculators, and then there's the people who are using it for payments. For payments, they don't really care which currency you use, and at the end of the day, it's about liquidity, and Bitcoin has the highest liquidity. Uh, it, <laughs> For the speculators, they actually like to have like Ethereum and Litecoin and some of these other tokens, um, and uh, uh, and basically we uh, we uh, we allow you to to get paid in Ethereum and, and uh, Litecoin and a couple other coins like through partners that we have. So you can you can definitely you can do that uh, through our platform. But you know, interestingly, you know, there's this whole ICO movement that's that's happening right now. And uh, one thing that's that's interesting about our solution is we attract a lot of high quality uh, IT developers from around the world who've got knowledge on on blockchain. So one uh, one new endeavor that we're doing through a sister company called Inwage is we find we basically uh, 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 do a, a, a dev shop and advisory for companies who are are looking to do ICOs. Uh, themselves looking to understand how to do it, build the technology, do it securely, uh, and we we give people jobs who get paid through our platform uh, to help build uh, out this ICOs for other companies that might want to raise money through this new this new medium. Oh, so you're also advising people on? Okay, I guess it's a separate uh, thing that you do. It's a separate thing. Um, but I thought I mentioned it. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fine. We can get into that. Maybe very briefly, but quick question. So, um, you said a number a number of people are using the platform to take their wages and speculate with them. I know that you're not, you know, trying to be their mom and say don't do that. But what happens if you have a situation where someone appears to be taking a significant portion of their their paycheck and speculating with it? Do you say anything? That's not your business. I mean, so we don't do you feel like there'll be any. Uh, Enabling liability by doing that. Yeah, we, 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 I mean, we don't necessarily know uh, what percentage of people's wages people are 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 uh, putting into uh, putting into Bitcoin um, because they can they can put all the money through our platform and then we split it. But a lot of the time, the money comes in after 
uh, after they've split. So um, we don't necessarily have um, that insight. There are people who will do 100% of their wage in Bitcoin. Uh, and those people, I mean, the thing is, a, a lot of those people uh, are actually people who are doing this from an ideological perspective and not necessarily like a, a, a speculative perspective um, because they want to remove themselves from the banking industry, for instance. Um, uh, and, uh, but you know, at the end of the day, if you're choosing to get a percentage of your wage in Bitcoin, you're already going to be pretty, pretty long on, on the, on the technology. Um, so it's not the same, it's not the same, I would say as like, as like if you were on an exchange and you're just like clicking, you know, buy, 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 buy. Um, there's a lot Mm. more of a gambling element to that. Um, I would say, um, versus this is a much slower approach. You won't, it, you sort of, you set it up, you never think about it. And then one day in like, you know, a few months later, you might check, Oh, look at how much Bitcoin I have. Oh, look at the value of it. But it's not, it's, it, it's not the same impulse. It's not, so it's not the same danger that, that someone would have because it's not, you, it's not, it's not instant. You know what I mean? It's not like, Oh, I right. have this impulse. Let me buy. And I've actually accidentally bought too much. It's like, Oh, I can set this percentage, and you know, if uh, you know, I really think I'm doing something wrong, I can, I, you know, I, I can change the percentage, and you know, I, if I do do a hundred percent, you know, today, maybe, you know, I might, you know, feel bad about that, and I can always just change the percentage for my next paycheck. So it's a lot. It's not. It doesn't have the same like, you know, gambling risk mentality that that you might have uh, on an exchange where you're sort of worried and you, you want to buy low and sell high and you're, 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 you're thinking about this all the time. All right. Gotcha. Hmm. Um, what about uh, if you, you know, I did some work for a company that paid me in, in Bitcoin. Uh, can I still work with your system that way or is it really not necessary? So, so in that scenario, the company themselves would, pay, would, would use our, our platform. And, um, and basically the idea there is uh you know maybe if you're paying like one two three five people it's not as important but if you're paying like 30 people or 50 people or 100 people or more um there it it ends up being a big issue with the 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 public key management because people might change their public keys often uh when you're sending the payment if you mess up a public key you know you basically send the money to someone to, to a wallet that doesn't exist and, and now you owe an entire paycheck to someone, right? So there's risk involved. And so in order to mitigate that risk, you're, you're, you're paying, you know, uh, a, 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 a highly skilled, um, highly paid uh, individual to do, you know, rote work um, that's not uh, incredibly high value for, for the company. Um, but you know, it's, it's a, it's a, it's risk if, uh, if someone messes up, so you got to pay that highly qualified person to do it. Uh, and so what we do is we take away all that risk and that, uh, and that cost by allowing the workers to do the public key management themselves. Uh, and we automate that whole process. And now the company, all they got to do is either pay a one QR address or uh, send uh, USD, and it's it's easy. And you know we have we have companies um, in the space like BTC Media and Augur and Aragorn uh, on our platform that are using us as as well as a, a large exchange that I'm not uh, 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 allowed to to really talk too much about. All right, well, no problem. What I, I you know we got to wrap, but uh, I really like your platform, and I think it's a great thing to enable people to uh, you know get invested in Bitcoin and, you know, dip their toe in, uh, allocate part of their money there and all that. So what's the best way for people to engage and to set up an account and get this going for themselves? Yeah, sure. So, so, uh, you know, just go to www.bitwage.com and go ahead and, and sign up, uh, the, you, for the, for the solution. Um, and you'll be good. If you, if you don't have a Bitcoin wallet, you know, you can check out a lot of different Bitcoin wallets. We have, a uh, a special um, uh, kind of integration with uh, with Airbits, where you just scan mm-hmm. a QR code on our website from their app, and it uploads their their wallet um, 
uh, we're going to have uh, a few other kind of interesting uh, wallet recommendations pretty soon. And, uh, you know, just just so people know, I, I live in Paris right now. Our company is based huh. in the U.S., so I get paid from the U.S. I actually get my entire wage through the system uh, where dollars get converted into Bitcoin. Ten percent of that uh, go to uh, go go to uh, 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 my wallet and then the rest uh, get converted into euros and then deposited into my bank account. So, you know, we eat our own dog food here. <laughs> excellent excellent well thanks for coming on the podcast and i'm really glad that you're doing this kind of stuff yeah man it's uh it's a pleasure thank you for having me richard the bitcoin ethereum and blockchain super conference is coming to dallas texas february 16 17 and 18 in 2018 if you know of a better way to get the latest insider knowledge about crypto to hear directly from the top minds in this field to interact personally with 800 fellow crypto lovers, hodlers, investors, miners, traders, developers, and founders, then I'd like to hear about it. If you don't, then you don't want to miss out. Register today for the Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Blockchain Super Conference. Go to BitcoinSuperConference.com and register today as a super early bird to get the lowest rates on tickets and hotel rooms. That's BitcoinSuperConference.com. You have been listening to Almost Here, Around the Corner Future Technology Podcast with Richard Jacobs. Subscribe to this podcast, post a review, to discover more future technologies that are poised to transform our lives for better or worse, such as Bitcoin, artificial intelligence, 3D printing, blockchain, virtual reality, and more.